No one is going to snatch your phone and stand next to you. They will definitely run. So go to security and privacy, find more security settings, go to theft protection and enable theft detection lock. This becomes useful if a friend forces himself or herself to access your phone and snatches it from your hand. Or if a thief snatches your phone and runs. With this turned on, your phone screen will be locked, making it difficult for the person to have access. Did you know there is a lot hidden in your Samsung lock screen? Once you double tap on the lock screen clock, you can bring up tools like voice recorder, alarm, weather and more. All these are cool but check this out. If I tap on the record button from here, it will start recording even if I turn the screen off. And once I end the recording, it will be saved in the recorder application on the phone. Very useful if you don't want anyone to know you are recording. Plus, if you enter the lock screen settings, under widgets, you can add or remove widgets you'd like or dislike. In the default Samsung Gallery application, you can create PDF from images, whether one image or multiple images, just select them, tap on create, and then save as PDF. And if you don't have this enabled, go to the gallery settings, find gallery labs, inside here find save as PDF and toggle it on. If you usually open a couple of applications in split screen every time, here is a simple way to launch both applications in split screen. So once you have those two applications in split screen, tap on the horizontal three dots in the middle, tap the star, then select add pair to home screen. This way you can simply launch both applications in split screen by just tapping on this shortcut. And you can create multiple split screen shortcuts. Still on split screens, open settings, go to advanced settings, go to labs, and turn on multi-window for all applications. This allows all applications to open in split screen or pop-up view, including applications that are not designed to open in pop-out or split screen. Still at advanced features, if you dislike your navigation and the status bar showing up in your screenshots, select screenshots, then make sure hide status and navigation bars is turned on. This way, every screenshot you take will be without them. Did you know your power button can do more than just turning on and off your screen? In the advanced features, go to side button, first enable double press, and then you can either choose to let it open camera when you double press it or choose to open your favorite application with it. For safety reasons, Samsung has added this feature, go to sound and vibrations in the settings, go to volume, here tap on the three dots to enter media volume limits. Turning this on limits the volume when you connect to Bluetooth devices. This protects your ears and also makes you aware of your surroundings. So make sure it is turned on. When you turn on the flashlight, you can long press on the icon and adjust the brightness. You definitely want to hold on to your smartphone for many years and the wrong battery usage habits can cause depletion. So to avoid this, make use of Samsung's battery protection feature. Go to battery settings and turn it on. This adjusts the charging behavior to help improve the lifespan. When using the Samsung keyboard, you can long press on the spacebar to enable a touchpad to navigate through texts. You can enable this in the keyboard settings under swipe, touch and feedback. You can leave it this way if it sounds useful to you and if not, you can switch to launch voice inputs when you touch and hold the spacebar. Still on the keyboard, in a situation when a friend or someone sends a message in a certain language you aren't familiar with, you can open the text translation tool right on the keyboard to help you understand what the message says. And you can even type your reply here, copy it in the same language and send it back. Secure folder on Samsung is really useful. You can hide documents, any media, contacts in that hidden folder and they won't show up anywhere on your phone. You can even hide applications here when you tap on the plus button. And for any other thing, you can simply move them. And for more security on the data you've stored here, you can change the name secure folder into something less attractive like shopping and even change the icon. Not every Samsung user has good luck available in the Galaxy Store for some reason, including me. I don't have it and the reason being, it is not available in my region. But when it comes to customization, what is Samsung without good luck? So if you don't have it, go to the Google Play Store and install Fine Lock, which is similar to Good Luck. Fine Lock also has all the modules Good Luck has, but it will redirect you to APK Mirror to install them. And once you do, you can have access to the several customization features Good Luck comes with. I'll be making a video on that soon, so stay tuned. Consider subscribing to the channel if you loved the video and let me know some of your favorite useful features you use on your Samsung device. Also, don't forget to leave a like on the video and as always, thank you for watching.